Metal raised beds are not just for the vegetable garden, and they don't have to be just squares and rectangles. Now we have options. Join me today as I show you how I construct and place my Birdies 10-in-1 metal raised garden bed. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and this is my pollinator garden. As I've been expanding this part of my garden space, I've been looking at height differences, particularly with the flowers like these cosmos, but also with the garden beds. And I wanted to have some raised beds in this area, but I didn't want wooden rectangles or squares. I wanted something that would add a visual element that had some color to it and also gave me some height. And I was so glad to discover this Birdies 10-in-1 metal raised garden bed kit because it allows me to do something like build a hexagon. Now I can fill this with soil and grow the plants that I want to grow. And as I expand the garden, the different shapes that this kit offers give me some new ideas about how I might grow my plants. Let me show you how I did it. I begin constructing my bed by laying out all the pieces to begin. And then one by one, I'll attach the side panels to these corner brackets. Now what makes this 10-in-1 bed so special is these corner brackets. Most of the metal raised beds that you've probably seen have a curved corner. And depending on how you put the beds together, you get generally a rectangle or a square, and all of them have this 90 degree curved corner. The corners of this bed are closer to 120 degrees, which means it's a more gradual curve and allows me to get almost a circular shape with the hexagon. But if you put two of these together, it makes for a very sharp angle, which is why the 10-in-1 bed has more combinations to choose from than just about any other bed you're going to find. This kit can make beds of shapes that you've probably never seen in a garden. I'll be doing the hexagon, but I could also be doing a diamond or a triangle or maybe even, I'll call this the Millennium Falcon. Each of these pieces is covered by a protective film. So the first thing to do before assembly is to remove the plastic from each piece. Now I'm ready to start putting the pieces together. I'll take some of the nuts and bolts from the bag that's supplied. Just put a few of them in my hand to begin with. And then I'll lay the side so that it is in landscape mode, long at the bottom. And I'll take the corner and put it on the outside of the side. And then feeding one of these small bolts through the hole, I'll take a nut and just finger tighten it on the back. And then repeat this process with all the holes on this side. With this first section done, now I'm ready to move on to the next one. Again, with the corner piece on the outside, feeding one of the bolts through, taking a nut, and then finger tightening it from the back. And I'll just continue this process, adding the pieces, adding the corners, until I get to my final shape. It's taken me less than 30 minutes to put this bed together. Now, it's a good idea to do this on level ground. That will make the process go much faster. But this is just the preliminary construction. Now I need to tighten all of these nuts and bolts. That's what gives this bed its strength. And there is a small wrench that comes with the kit. 
and you can do it with just this. But I think it goes a little bit faster and you can get a tighter grip when you add a Phillips screwdriver to the tightening. I'll take the wrench and put it on the back side to hold the nut and then I'll put the screwdriver on the front side and just tighten. And I'll do this with each of the nuts and bolts. And so now with everything tightened, this is sturdy enough to hold all the soil and plants that will be in here. You probably noticed I have two extra side pieces left over. That's because I went with this shape and this size because of where I'm going to put it in my garden. But I can still use those pieces. If I get another birdie's bed like this, I can add those to the new kit and give myself even more than the 10 options that this one offers. The final stage in the construction is to add a safety edging to the top. There are some sharp edges. You need to be careful as you put it together. And this is the final part of the safety factor, putting this edging on just so you don't accidentally cut yourself as you're working with your plants. And it just slides on the top. And so I'll just work my way around the entire edge of the kit. The corners can be a little bit of a challenge, but the tip of the wrench can get in here and pry apart the edging just enough to be able to move all the way around the corner. And then when you get to where you started, we'll just go ahead and trim off the edge. If you can, construct the bed near its final location. Because all you have to do is just pick it up and move it to its new home. Now I'll dig away some soil at the base or add some soil at the base to ensure that it's level side to side in all directions. And then it's ready to fill with soil and for me to start thinking about what plants I'm going to grow in here. I think this is a nice visual element to my garden and it fits well with the rest of my pollinator flowers, the cosmos, the honeysuckle, and everything that grows in this garden throughout the season. This is just one of the many metal raised beds that are available through Epic Gardening. And I put the link in the description below for you to check out the 10 in one and everything else they offer from birdies. And be sure and use Gardener Scott at checkout to get an extra 5% off. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.